Hello and welcome to The Humble Seer. Let's talk about Black China and Rob Kardashian in that relationship. And they are, well, when they were together, it was like, it was either boring or chaotic. It was either absolute boredom, you know, just kind of putzing around the house, or it was chaotic. You know, arguments and things like that. Just a lot of ridiculousness. And Rob, he, you know, he was scratching his head the whole time, wondering why he even got involved with this individual. But he did, so, you know, what are you going to do? And she, uh... I don't think this will be any a surprise to anyone. She got involved with him strictly for the money and the fame. Money, fame, fortune, you know, that kind of thing. But she was like a thorn in his side after a while, and still, frankly, is. So what can you tell us about that overall relationship? Now, they are not together anymore, but in a sense they are because they have a child together. So there's still interaction there, okay? But... So let's just find whatever the cards are going to tell us. It, they may The cards may speak on the relationship that was or the current relationship, but we'll go with it either way. Okay. So we have the emperor, which is about restrictions. In this case, it's about restrictions. <laughs> I mean, it's about rules, right? The emperor doesn't play. And... Uh, they are about authority and rules. And I feel that this really is for, is about, well, it's about both of them. But for Black China, she came into the Kardashian fold. And in that world, there are rules. And there are things that you can and cannot do. The emperor is a is a stickler. And the emperor would be the Kardashian brand and so she was only able to do certain things like she was not going to be outlandish and I don't see that in her personality anyway her dress is, and her style is not really representative of her personality I'm hearing um, you know she's a smart woman and um, but but the emperor was really the overall relationship it was that that stronghold that the kardashians have on anybody that gets involved with the women in the family or in this case the man which is rob and so um that is always going to the emperor is always going to introduce itself immediately actually before you even establish anything the emperor being the kardashian brand is going to step in and say you can do this that you can't do this you can't go there you can't say that so you get the idea. So that's really what the overall relationship was. And Rob had to abide by that. He didn't want to. He wanted to get away from it, which is why you never see him on the show or anything like that. You know, he doesn't come around because he has no respect for that life, that world that these people indulge in. All right, so how does Rob view Black China? And I hear Black China is a good mother, and Rob is a good father. They're good parents. They parent well together. Okay, that card came out, slid down my wrist, so we're going to take it. And that card is the Three of Wands. So, luck, opportunity, you know. And he views her as, well... I was just an opportunity for her. I wasn't, it wasn't any more than that. I was simply an opportunity. And that's it. There isn't anything else to say. I mean, that's, there's no other thing, no other way to describe it. So how does Black China, how does Black China view Rob? How does she view Rob? What's going on there? going on there because yeah we want to know how does she view him let's take the top one 
Okay, well, she views him as the hermit. And, I mean, that's not surprising. Solitude, lonely, some dishon dishonesty, walking away. And that is really Rob Kardashian. I mean, he has, you know, like I say, he, he doesn't like the family, all of that stuff that goes on, and that makes him, puts him in solitude. That takes him away from that. It, a, a lot of what goes on or has gone on in that family has really bothered Rob. And it is it always, you know, has put him in that hermit state just doesn't like the things that go on and and so you know she views him like many others do as the hermit lonely but the hermit is also about betrayal and i'm hearing there is betrayal there it's like she feels that even though we know that the emperor is the the kardashian brand she feels that rob just didn't have her back enough he did have her back sometimes, but that family brand was too much. She could he couldn't go up against that. And so with that, uh, she felt like betrayed. There was betrayal. So I feel that they're they're amicable. You know, they're they're they interact with because they have a child together and it's not a horrible situation and rob is just the hermit and will just likely always be the hermit so that's it thank you for uh stopping by uh do follow me on twitter and if you would like what i do consider buying me a coffee um the link is in the description box below and until next time you take good care and we'll talk again soon bye